Hello and welcome beautiful people in the internet, my Scorpio minds. I hope you're all doing well. I am really great. I'm excited about everything. Um, there are like really big news to come, but I'm going to make another video about it. Today it's all about how my biceps got to the size it is now. <laughs> well, not really, but um, just like my fitness journey because I've been asked that a hundred times and instead of typing it every time in like a private message a DM um, I'm just gonna make a YouTube video about it and um, I hope I'm not gonna forget anything but let's start when I was a child oh and I'm trying to see if I have some pictures or footage or anything like that but I'm not too sure I think the other ones are on the old laptop and it's in Luxembourg and We'll see, maybe there are some Facebook pictures or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's start from the beginning. My parents told me that when there was music playing and I was like super tiny and still in a crib, like I could stand but not walk, and there was music playing, there was one song by like a Dutch artist. <laughs> and I just started dancing, like holding on to the, to the thing and just like doing, doing like that. So that was the first time we started dancing. It was still in the Netherlands, so it was not even two, like one and a half or something like that. So yeah, I had music and dancing in my DNA from the start. And also because my dad and also my mom have been really active, like sports-wise. My dad started doing bodybuilding when he was, I don't know, like 20 or something. Um, so I kind of have that in my DNA as well. And I am really prone to building up muscle kind of quickly. So yeah, that's also why, like I see pole dancers now, they do more stuff like more training and everything and they're like tiny but they have so much power um but for me it just builds up i don't know anyway and then we moved to luxembourg and everything i grew older and my parents said i need to do like one sport it doesn't matter what just one sport just to stay active and it was nothing crazy it was just like one time a week um, and through a friend I got to know a dance school in Luxembourg so I went there and I tried ballet and it was alright but after I was around six or seven when I started dancing um, yeah I did ballet for like two years or something and then I was old enough to switch to modern dance like modern dance mixed with ballet so it's a ballet warm-up and the modern choreography which was better for me because when I did only ballet I didn't like it that much and I wanted to change and that's when my parents said like you can do whatever you want to but just do the sports um, and then I tried looking around like what kind of sports are there I had a friend who was playing volleyball there was a basketball club like football club everything like that and nothing really interested me so that was great that I was a bit older, I think like eight. I don't know when you could change actually, but it was like two or three years later, something like that. Then I switched to modern mixed ballet dance class and then I loved it again. I didn't stop, I did it like once, it was once a week and I danced for a couple of years. And then I also switched to only modern jazz dance and I also tried hip-hop which wasn't for me because in hip-hop you have to be really loose and kind of like groovy and I don't have that I'm more of a controlled movement like being more elegant and not that like loose and everything it's just I don't 
don't know. I tried it. It was really fun. I also had like, um, um, like I went on stage with hip hop and with ballet. No, I think I did. My first, my first performance on stage was um, where I had to dress up as Pippi Langstrumpf. I always forget the English name. Pippi long stockings or something like that. Let's <laughs> let's look it up. Yeah, Pippi long stocking. I I was right. Um, so yeah, we had to dress up like that. I think every year, over every second year, there was like a little uh, theme around like the whole dance group, dance school when they went on stage. So everybody had to kind of. So it was like Disney or it was like animals or I don't really remember just something like that art one time we were like an art museum dancing on um, Lady Gaga which was it was so fun we had like fluorescent lips and makeup and fluorescent um, um, picture frames <laughs> it was awesome I love it so much um, so yeah I danced in Luxembourg until I moved that was age 19 and I also trained a little bit of contortion acrobatics with a friend when I was oh, also really young, like nine or something like that. And she was already in the acrobatics group and I was not, but I loved it so much. So I went up to my dance teacher who uh, was leading to the dance school and they also had acrobatic contortion classes. And I was like, can I please come into the class as well? And she was like, oh no, you're too old. I was 10 or something by the time. Um, and I was like, please, please, I've been training and I can do like the bridge and everything. And she was like, fine, you can come to um, like a trial. I will see like how your body moves and if you have enough strength, flexibility, stuff like that. And I do still remember the first class. I was like, oh, I can go. And I tried to do my best. And I did more than I was asked for. They were like, oh, yeah, going to the bridge. And then I did, and then they were like, oh, and now I lay down on the floor, come out. And I just, like, I didn't lay down, I just came up standing. And they were like, I didn't ask you that, but <laughs> fine. <laughs> like, the others were doing it, like, that way. And I was like, I can do that too, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, so yeah, I proved myself, and then they said, you can't come. And I was like, yes, I finally made it. And then I had training twice a week, so one time dancing, one time acrobatics when I was around 10 something like that and I love it so much that we also trained handstands not super consistently so I didn't get that much better but I kind of did like a little bit and my dad's always joking like still now that I always always was upside down and trained handstands in the living room that I couldn't sit still and yeah I was just like going up and down and up and down and up and down all the time which was crazy, but yeah, I never really trained super consistently. I just did that all over, but it helped me to being comfortable being upside down. So that's a huge plus. <laughs> um, yeah, I did those two sports until age 19 when I moved out. And when there was summer vacation in Luxembourg, it's like nine weeks, there was no training. And then like the last two years, something we always met up with the acrobatic group and we trained for ourselves and the last year we also did like a little um choreography and we showed it to our teacher when it started again and we were so proud and it was so good i we got so good because we were training like twice a week or something like that so i was like really into contortion acrobatics and dancing and yeah <laughs>
Then I came back, or no, then I moved to Berlin, age 19. And I was looking for acrobatic places, like the same thing they were doing or we were doing in Luxembourg, but I could not find any. It was then more like, <sighs> yeah, like it, it was called acrobatic, but it was not stretchy acrobatic. It's, it was more like jumping and doing rollovers and stuff like that, which was fine, but it wasn't the thing I was looking for. So I kind of started doing more calisthenic works, going out, running, doing like body weight exercises, stuff like that, more like cardio based. Around two or three times a week, just going out in the park, running like that. And then I don't know what came first, but I think it was like together. I started dancing here in Berlin at a dance school, which was like right across from, from my from my apartment back then. And I did contemporary dance and I love that too <laughs> the teacher was so great she was so good and just the people and the choreographies were so pretty we also went on stage with that one um, yeah it was just so nice I love dressing up and doing makeup and then going on stage and have that feeling be like oh this is so great and everybody's like watching us and I just love performing so much um, I danced then until age 21, so from 19 to 21 here in Berlin. And then, um, so yeah, I had dance training once a week and I went out doing the calisthenic stuff twice a week. So yeah, I think that's about right. Um, like all during my university. And then I had to go for an internship to Australia or I chose to go to Australia. We could go like wherever we wanted to go and there everything changed like everything my Personality kind of like how I see things and that was also the stepping stone to going vegan and being more health conscious more like into fitness and stuff like that so one time I was just walking to work there and somebody somebody handed me a flyer from like a gym to have like a free trial so I was like like everything's new already so let's go I think I've never been to a gym before my dad had a gym in the basement in Luxembourg but I never really trained because it just didn't interest me so in Australia it was the first time I went to the gym um, the guy was showing me around it was like a really fancy gym I loved it so much and they had yoga they had like all the fit classes with some weights and boxing training and yoga and like all of that so I joined because it just felt right it was nice um, and I went to the fit classes where they have like little barbells where you could put weight on it and then for an hour you're just doing stuff and the squats and it was really nice it was cardio a little bit of weight and I did that once a week or something like that and then I also went to yoga I think that was my first yoga class too and I liked it they had hot yoga they like stretching yoga vinyasa yoga like all of those things and then there was that guy next to me also a yoga teacher and we just or he saw me doing like all those bendy bendy stuff and we just talked a little bit and he said that he's doing acro yoga like um, um, partner acrobatics where one person is on top and the other one is on the bottom and then you just do like all of that crazy really fun stuff and um, He was like, oh, do you want to try that? And I was like, hell yes <laughs> and then we started training together a little bit in a gym or also in a park and I Just fell in love with acro yoga like acrobatic stuff again <laughs> That was so awesome and then at the end of Australia like my stay in Australia I also tried to go to the gym doing some like weight based exercises also with the yoga trainer because he's also like a personal trainer so everything just interconnected and I went to the gym like to courses yoga and whatever I think like every second day or something I don't really remember that much but I really got into healthier eating more gym stuff more exercising back in Australia at age 21 yeah <laughs> and then I came back to Berlin 
and I did not join a dancing group again because I don't know why it was just I don't know I just didn't feel that way and then I had a new um, a new roommate housemate and he signed up to a gym and I was like oh, I'm gonna sign up to a gym as well because now I'm used to it and blah blah so I signed up to a gym and I went to the gym a lot <laughs> I was really motivated by my by my housemate because he was also more into bodybuilding fitness and he made me like a little plan nothing too crazy but it was like four or five times a week with like an upper body lower body split or like back and front split something like that I don't really remember but there I was like really going to the gym quite often doing more weights and I also remember that when I came back from Australia I did my PR squats with my dad because oh, he opened his gym while I was in Australia. So I came back and I trained with him a little bit and I did like 70 kilos of squats, which is crazy for me. I never did that after because I'm just not too, too crazy about like heavy, heavy weights. I just do it for, um, I'm going to tell you later. Um, so yeah, back in Berlin, um, I signed up to the gym. I went to the gym quite often. And then let me think, it was a lot of gym. How did I get? Oh, I did that for a really long time, like two or three years, I guess. I mean, I've been dancing here in my, like in my apartment and doing like acrobatics after training but not crazy um and then i got urban, urban sports which is amazing i love urban sports so much it's basically this is not an advertisement i just love it really really love it so much um you sign up to urban sports so you have one fee and then you can go here in berlin to like 900 clubs so bouldering swimming gyms i do all of my aerial stuff here so yeah i signed up to urban sports and i ditched a gym membership and then i also went more swimming i went bouldering a couple times and then together with a friend we were talking like it was a friend from my university we talked about doing pole dance and I was like, oh yeah, I really want to try that. And she was like, oh yeah, I really want to try that too. So we were talking about that for like a couple of weeks. And then I was like, let's just go. <laughs> and we tried it. And yeah, it was so crazy. I, I remember the lesson, it was nice. We we're just doing like the basic movements. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. It's like dancing, but also like strength and acrobatics, like all at the same time and my friend didn't continue that because I don't know it was like work or time or something like that but I went every week until now <laughs> but my friend started again like a year later or something like that um, and now she's also going regularly but yeah that was that was how I started pole dancing I just heard about it and I wanted to try it for so 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 long until I finally tried it and I fell in love and now I am doing pole dance twice a week yeah it would lo I would love to do it more but there's also other stuff I need to be I need to do and then yeah I did pole dance for about a year something like that I got the pole in the apartment from Ferdinand so I could train at home and I remember the first or like yeah the first month I had the pole at home I was just hanging on that all the time and pulling up and my bicep got so big <laughs> or it just I could just feel it grow like every day because I was doing pull-ups all the time holding myself like doing all the spins and it was just insane I had so much um uh, I was so sore all the time. Oh, and I also forget forgot to tell you that after Australia, when I came back, I was looking for acro yoga places and I found like a free training space where you can basically just find um, a partner and then do all of the tricks. And I think it was like the first time I took Ferdinand with me or like a couple times. 
because we were like freshly dating and we wanted to do stuff together but he was not motivated at all so I kind of ditched him from my training and I went alone and I found another partner and we were training so much and we were so good after but unfortunately um, he was also training somewhere else and then he didn't have time and I don't really know but we just weren't training together after a while it was like after a year or something um, oh and we also gave to class or I also teach two acro yoga classes like beginner classes two semesters it was it was really nice I love that so much too um, so yeah that was like doing gym and acro yoga and then after I started pole dance because yeah I was going to the acro yoga trainings often quite often and because I didn't have like a steady partner I had to start from the bottom with new partners every week and it was like like I wasn't making progress so that was kind of frustrating and then I was like there's no point in doing it anymore um, so then I started pole dancing because there you don't need a partner you just need your pole <laughs> and I fell in love and then I just started doing that instead um, also doing gym along the way but yeah gym kind of reduced in importance for me because I love dancing, being active, swimming, acrobatics and I don't have the thrive to get super strong like being able to lift 100 kilograms or anything it just hurts and yeah it's just not for me like I can totally understand why some people like it but it's just not for me and that's okay and then I started doing aerial soaks because I was bored because Ferdinand and Kiwi were in Austria and I had so much time and I heard about aerial yoga where you have the hammock and you do yoga and I wanted to try it so badly so I was looking on, on urban sports if there were any places on Google and it was like Saturday or Friday and there was a class on Saturday and I was like oh my god like I want to go so I messaged the studio if there's still a place like tomorrow and they were like yeah come in it's awesome like blah blah um so I went there the next day I did aerial yoga and it was really nice because it's the yoga but with a bit of acrobatics and I came into the studio I was like oh my god like I was so overwhelmed because it was so pretty I was like oh this is the place where I want to be it was it was just magical kind of and then I also saw that they were um, doing aerial silks and hoop, like all of the aerial stuff. And at the acro yoga trainings, there was a girl doing aerial silks, and it was just amazing. I was like, oh, I need to do that too. And so yeah, I just signed up to the intro aerial silks class. I think I still have the first video, one of the first videos I'm gonna show it to you. It was so fun. I mean, the first class you don't do that much. You just learn to climb and do like a footlock and... But it was insane. I loved it so much. And yeah, I never stopped going since then. I think I missed like classes because I went to Bali. But other than that, I'm there every week. And sometimes I also go to open trainings. Um, Oh, I love Ariel Silk so much. And because of Ariel Silk, Poland's too, but more Ariel Silks, I got crazy abs, I got crazy shoulders, I got even a crazier biceps than from Paul because you have to like pull yourself up on the silk. I mean, you can help with your feet, but it looks prettier if you don't. Um, so yeah, I just got crazy muscular. In my core, arms, back, legs not so much. So now I'm going to the gym to train my legs because I do all of the aerial stuff, acrobatics, which is a lot of arms and back and shoulders and not so much legs. So I'm doing that and I also go to the gym to train all of the little muscles to stabilize my, my wrists and yeah, do pull-ups, press-ups, do my core, back, 
like just to balance everything out a little bit but not to actually gain a crazy amount of strength oh, that is today <laughs> right yeah right now i sometimes i have to stop myself from working out just trying to fit in a rest day here and there like yesterday i was actually going i had to plan to do to train my lower body but then i went on a three hour walk with my neighbor and the dogs and then i met a friend and we went to the movies and had a chat stuff like that and then after i was like i need to go to the gym i like i i just felt like doing some squats because i haven't done squats in like a week and so i did like a really short workout and but sometimes now it's like tuesdays it's my rest day and i kind of have to force myself not to do something <laughs> i mean i would love to sometimes i just do stretching or i'm probably going to start filming some some little workouts for you guys i'm gonna do it on tuesdays nothing too crazy so that's kind of still rest day but it's more like like recovery rest day um so yeah right now i am doing things six to seven times a week and i'm gonna list everything right now it changes pretty much like every every three months or something but right now i am having pole dance monday tuesday rest day most of the times wednesday i have aerial silk tuesdays uh thursdays i am going to handstand class already since a couple months fridays i mostly go to the gym train my upper body and at night i have like recovery yoga which is just like a little bit of stretching mobility saturdays i train my lower body at the gym and sundays i have pole dance that's my plan now but yeah it changes every time and sometimes i'm just switching like the gym days or something like that it really depends but i need to go swimming more because i love it <laughs> anyway i hope this helped a little bit understand where i come from and i mean you can always start there's n never like a too late maybe it's gonna take a bit more time to get to the point where you want to go but you can always start and so many people ask me like if they don't have a background in acrobatics dancing whatever if they can still start doing pole dance and yes, of course you can. And even if you have a bit too much weight or anything, just start, just start, girl, go ahead. It's just so much fun. And for me, sports helped me so much to gain confidence in myself, in my body, in just how I represent myself, how I carry myself. Like my posture is so much better. And if you're a little bit insecure, I've been so, so, so insecure. I can make a video about that too. But just like lifting weights and dancing and just helped to change me so much. So just go for it. Just try all the different sports. Maybe you'll find a thing you like. Maybe you find the things you don't like, which is also good. And then just go for it, you know. And I found that I don't like going out for runs. It's just kind of boring for me. But I, yeah, I do also understand why people like it. Because you're just in the zone and stuff. But I'm just like a dancing acrobatic person and my end goal would be to definitely perform again, be on stage. And I'm going to do my pole dance teacher training soon so I can start teaching, which is also a really big goal of mine. And yeah, just make it even more part of my, of my personality of my life, which is going to be awesome. Oh my God, I love it so much. I actually have pole dance class in like two hours. And I'm so looking forward to it. Oh man, okay. Well, if you've got any other questions regarding fitness, working out, please let me know down below and I can do like a little Q&A about that. Because I'm just eager to share my experiences and everything that helped me. So yeah, feel free to do that. Other than that, I'm gonna leave you to it today. And I'll see you next time, hopefully here on my, on my channel. Love you guys.